This guide will illustrate the self shadows prolate color paint. I use the truck model as an example. Import the truck. Show its chassis and cabin state models. I disable textures in viewport. This is the model we shall prolet. I'll use the Scandia truck model as an example. I hide all objects. Then I show up only meshes that need prolet and does not prevent proper shading. These are headlight glass and should stay hidden. The shadow volume for the game. Hide it. The rest are okay. The cabin glass should stay hidden, as well as shadow volume. Do the same on other groups. OK, proper models are shown. I toggle on textures to make sure the proper objects are shown. Fine, disable textures in viewport. I need to create a sort of a bath for the model. It should surround the model and extend on top. It will occlude ambient light for the model. Cylinder with 10 points and 3 segments. I use Modify, Extrude, Disable Sharp Edges. Then move faces to shape the bath. The overall distance to the model should be about the same on all sides. The bath should start at the truck bottom and go higher than the cabin height. The bottom section should be closer to the truck. I select the back area segments in top view. And deselect the top row of vertices with control key. Then I place the pivot helper at the cross point of back area segments. And scale down the selected vertices. With scale tool. And base to pivot option toggled. Deselect the second row. And scale even more. and scale the bottom row to go under the truck. Deselect, place the pivot helper at the front segment center. And scale rows of vertices, like you did before. That's the bath for shading. Correct the shape, if the truck is not fully within the bath. OK, I don't need the top cap. I select polygons and delete them. Finally, use, modify, flip, and click on the bath to flip it inside out. The truck is in a bath. Disable the viewport light. OK. I need to create volumes to occlude light and wheel well. I create a cylinder, instead of a wheel for this purpose. It's important not to reach the hub. 
there should be a gap between shadow volume and a hub. Also, the wheel should not go out of the wheel well. Otherwise it can produce artifacts. Then copy the wheel to the other side. Keep the gap in mind. Then copy the wheel to the back side. Move it and place properly. Resize to make it wide, but keep the gap in mind too. Copy it to the other side. Create a group dummy node. Rename to Shadow Volumes Drag and drop all shadow volumes into this group. Hide shadow volumes. Select all objects. Disable viewport textures. Unhide shadow volumes. Pick Surface, Self Shadows, click on a model to prolet. Specifier Range, 8. Shadows Color, Black. Light Color, Gray. The model is mostly dark, but lit from top. Click to prolet again. Specify strength, 40, range, 1, dot, 2. Click to prolet again. Set strength, 20, range, 0, dot, 4. And the final run. Range, 0, dot, 2. OK, deselect, hide shadow volumes, toggle on the viewport light, the shading is ready. You see the shadows on a frame. Well, I'll show you the actual shading. That's just for clarity. Don't do it on your model. I convert all materials to old-fashioned type. Toggle off the wireframe and viewport light. You see the shading in a deepening. Shadows under the aerodynamic fairing. Shadows inside flow direction braces. I'll show you the original model. The model you are probably dealing with. That's the model with no shading. It looks plastic and unrealistic. And that's the shaded model. Thanks for watching.